from here, we're gonna go to the farm where this guy has literally thousands of them. Have you been to a bug farm before? Why would I? <laughs> Around the world, eating bugs is not so uncommon. Oh, all right. Worms, ah, oh, 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 oh. crickets. It's like Lay's potato chips. Even giant spiders. This type of food has nourished populations since humans first walked the earth. But even within the bug industry, there's one ingredient from one creature so strange that its story must be told. Today, we're digging deep into the world of creepy crawlers. Oh, dude. Dude! Learning how this could be making its way into your next dish. It's like eating a bunch of layers of rice paper. And even more shocking, when you taste it, when it touches your tongue for the first time, you might just be hooked for life. Sir, first of all, congratulations to both of us on our amazing taste in clothing. We are beautiful. <laughs> We're beautiful. Meet Mr. Chong, another man with a keen taste for haberdashery. He's the owner of the legendary restaurant Ban Kun Tai Ho. Their specialty, steamed rice batter rolls. Bankun itself is not that out of the ordinary. Mm. It's a rice batter sheet that's uh -huh. been steamed, and then usually you throw in some other protein. This roll then gets dipped in fish sauce, but this fish sauce can be leveled up using the extract from a giant butter bug. This alien-looking creature is a ferocious hunter, preying on any smaller bugs it can get its claws into. It is the ultimate predator in the world of creepy crawlers. When you drink the juice, do people think that there's any other benefits or is it just about the taste? So mostly just the smell yeah. good. The process of extracting the water bug's special flavoring goes something like this. First, the bugs are grilled. Then it goes to surgery, where its thorax is split, revealing a sac containing the essence. This stuff will become liquid gold. The highly concentrated substance will be further diluted until it resembles this ordinary looking but very potent liquid. It's one of the most unique foods in Vietnam for sure. I don't think we flavor almost any foods with bugs in the USA. This bug extract is well known to folks in North Vietnam. 20 years ago, Mr. Chom introduced this intriguing ingredient over 1,000 miles south all the way here to Saigon. And it's been slowly accumulating new fans ever since. Have you tried this before? No, I've been here many times, but I never tried that just because it's so out of usual, you know? Like, it's so unusual. Yes. I'm very pumped to try this out. Let's eat some bangun. Our rice batter rolls get a hit of fried shallots and steamed bean sprouts, then a side of Vietnam's famous sausages. Right here before us, Ban Kun. This might look like a normal breakfast. Well, actually, it is still normal. We're waiting for the bug guts. It's gonna come soon. Before we can start, this dish doesn't really work without fish sauce. Here, consumers make their own dipping sauce. The base always begins with fish sauce. How many people have drank this and thought that that, that was iced tea? 50%. 50%. <laughs> and some chili. Lastly, the whole reason we're here today, the giant water bug extract. That's it? It's like a little dropper. It has a kind of a perfumey scent. Whoa, for a bug? Usually people do one drop. We want to go all out. We want like four, at least four drops, right? One, two, five. Nice. Yo. Oh my Ooh, God. It's really intense. Okay, Ready? Cheers. One, two, three. Super aromatic. The flavor itself, to me, it's kind of like uh, between uh, green apple and like a lime peel. So let's make one more fish sauce and we'll just put one drop of extract in it this time. Like you feel it up in yeah. your nose. It has a stringent, like stinging quality. It dances well with the fish sauce. You know why I think people do that? That when you eat fish sauce and then you do like, um, how do you say that? Make out with someone? <laughs> So they would do that in advance. But when you see the creature this comes from, you wouldn't think this like beautiful bouquet of aromatics would come from such an evil looking creature. And I think it's kind of a metaphor. No matter what any of us looks like, we all have some nice bug perfume inside. Aww, that's sweet. I still have so many questions. How are they getting this innocuous looking substance from one of nature's most vicious looking insects? Where do these bugs come from? And are there other chilling insects making their way into mainstream dining? From here, we're gonna go to the farm where this guy has literally thousands of them. <laughs> 20 years ago, this entire insect empire was built by one man, Mr. Tom. Sir. Give me a handshake. Put it there. You're the bug man. I should have done more research. The bug lord. Bug dealer. Hey, 
a king witch? of bugs? Sir, you are the bug king. He started with two empty hands, catching a few crickets in the fields, and slowly progressing to where he is now. How many crickets do you think you have just in this big room? Uh, 800,000. <laughs> Crazy. That's so close to a million. Why yeah. not just, you know, push it to a million? Who's buying this many crickets yeah. and for what? His farm now breeds and sells three types of insects, crickets, scorpions, and the water bug. What is it you like about these creatures? You could have had any type of farm, presumably, dragon fruit, chicken, <laughs> but you went down the road of bugs. Qua thông tin một số cái thông tin báo đài thì cái xu hướng của những cái thế hệ sau này là người ta sử dụng cái con côn trùng vô làm thực phẩm là là chủ yếu. Mình thì nhắm vô cái là cái xu hướng của tương lai thôi. After the nuclear fallout, yeah. civilization is kind of done for. Yeah, and then Vietnamese will be like, great, we, we know this already, we prepare. <laughs> Once dried, crickets are 65% protein, and it's estimated that they're 20% more resource efficient than beef. The only issue is the mental block that people have around eating them. People like you, maybe you've had the opportunity to eat perfectly good crickets your whole life, but you never tried. Right now, we are in the scorpion lair, where he has a, a ton of scorpions. Living among the coconut condos are over 10,000 scorpions. These guys are sold to restaurants and winemakers. They also make a nice stocking stuffer. I guess their ideal habitat is a bunch of kind of rotting, dark, damn coconuts. Dude, there's a, there's a scorpion molting, like, coming out of its shell right now. Maybe you can show me how to catch a scorpion. Oh, there's one. I see one in the coconut shell right now. Dude, dude, this is a big MF for right here. Whoa! Jeez. So when he grabs it, he grabs it by the tail. How often do you get stung? Because I notice you're wearing sandals. You don't seem that concerned. He said, yeah, like sometimes, one time that I got to the hospital also, but yeah, no big deal. No big deal, so <laughs> he's okay. This guy's a hard ass, I get it. Today we want to see your other bugs, the one that tastes like perfume. Can we check that bug out? These gigantic water bugs usually live in fresh water. Here, this unique bug prison simulates the bug's natural living conditions without any of the frills. I see there's crickets in here too. Are the crickets food for the water bugs? Yeah, it is. Each of these reservoirs contains oxygenated water and mesh cylinders their nests where they can lay eggs. Can we open this one up? Perfect. Each pool holds about 500 bugs. He has around 6,000 altogether, much fewer than the crickets, although these guys require much more care to breed and raise. That oh is a water bug. <laughs> Why is it so big? Sir, can you grab a huge one? Oh, oh my god. Dude. He said that you will feel the same pain when a scorpion like bites you. Holy sh! So I'm, I'm good. So you're good? <laughs> Although it might not be fatal, a bite from one of these creatures will hurt very, very badly. It can cause serious injury to an adult or even someone like me. Okay, um, will you pet it? <laughs> it's kind of cute. In what universe? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I got it. I got it behind the head. And now it's clinging for dear life on this neck. <laughs> oh no! The ones below are stirring about now. Can you tickle it so it lets go? No! Uh, Grab it! It's so strong! Uh, okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yay! Oh. When I was with Mark Weens, they were really big, but what was most notable is that they were dead. Mm, this one is mm. very much alive. Oh, and did I forget to mention that they can fly? <laughs> Aside from using the bug for its extract, the king of bugs has created his own lucrative use for the creature. So this is the water bug wine? Soaking animals or insects in powerful booze made from rice is not an uncommon practice in many parts of Asia. Four years ago, Mr. Tung started mixing these six-legged dudes with alcohol and it's been a big hit. Well, at least he likes it. There's a little bit of perfumey smell from the water bugs themselves. Mostly it smells like really intense rice wine. <laughs> All right, Mo. Hi, Hi Ba Yo. It's an interesting mix, like pretty intense, and then just a little bit of that perfume essence. I think the coolest part is that um, there's a bug in there. Not a bug, three. There's three. <laughs> oh my God. Well, it's a party. They're partying, we're partying. Three, three, boom, boom. Wait, boom, hey, ba, ba, ba. So these bugs can have their extract removed, they can be paired with booze, but they can also be eaten whole. Here in the heart of a city populated with over 8 million people, there's a pub selling a type of bar food you won't find on a happy hour menu at Applebee's. 
This restaurant, it's super unique. There's not many restaurants in Saigon or even in Vietnam like this. This is Rec Rec Restaurant, going strong for nine years. Ms. Chuk An is the owner. After studying the art of bug cookery in Thailand, Chuk An opened her own spot. Like Mr. Tung, she believes bugs are the food of the future. What inspired you to go with the bug theme? The reason why she chose like insects because she wants to do something new and also good for the environment. All animals raised for protein require a certain amount of resources, water, food, and so on. When compared to cows, some bugs require 2,000 times less water to get the same amount of protein. That's a wild difference. Here, something you already saw today in live form, crickets. Is it like a play of nightmare? <laughs> She's right here, okay? I'm oh sorry. my god. We're really doing this. First, a quick appetizer. Butter fried crickets. Deep fried then sauteed in butter, salt, lime leaves, and with a side of fish sauce. Give it a little bit of a dip. Mm. Oh, the sauce is really good. <laughs> what? I can see how, how much no, you're no, into no, no. it. So crickets to me, they're overall, they're airy, they're crunchy. It's good. Now the main event. Our three course bug experience includes giant crickets, cicada pupa, and our old friends, the water bugs. Three, two, one, open your eyes. Happy, <laughs> happy bug day. <laughs> First dish, sauteed super crickets with fish sauce. They've been doused with the green ooze from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Deep fry, then saute garlic, onions, and scallions. Alas, combined with fish sauce and feast. We'll start with the big crickets. Dip the head. Imagine you have a cricket and it's alive and you're like, I want answers. And it's like, where is she? Okay, that's really mean. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. That was that one is for me. Okay. And action. Not bad. Mm, more to munch on. More cushion for the crunching. More back for the snack. The sauce is yeah, incredible. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. The bug yeah. itself, it's oily, crunchy. Oh, wait, one more on cricket? Yeah, it's nice. Bug two, sauteed cicada pupa with chili salt. This is a pupa. Yeah. Um, you know what I'm really scared? I have this feeling like there will be guts coming out from this. A gush of whatever it was eaten on. These little guys are slathered in hot oil until they're crispy. Toss them in with some sauteed onions and season with chili salt. Are you ready? Let's do. Mmm, that tastes like a cashew. Mmm, it's richer. I just wish that it looked a little better. One thing you don't really want in your cashew nuts is for them to all have a face. And these are like basically little babies. They were about to become a flying creature, but um, well, here they are, food. Finally, the climax we've been waiting for water bugs. It's been a long day. From breakfast now to dinner, this bug has been with us. We know that they're ferocious. They've got climbing claws. They can swim. They only choose to fly at night, which is unfortunate for them. All of them could have escaped today, and uh, they chose not to fly away. The wings are spread apart, and the bugs soaked in white wine for five minutes. These bugs hit the grill, then get a hit of salt for more flavor. Now, the king is ready to be served. I'm just gonna eat the, uh, the butt. You know what's really crazy about this butt? They look like giant cockroaches. Right, so, um, what's that part? That's a good advice. Ew. Oh, was that a, sh a poop set? <laughs> Ready? Ready! Uh... Whoa! It's an uncontrollable roller coaster of flavor. I'm feeling like the um, extract this morning, I'm feeling like I'm like drinking it. <laughs> <laughs> Straight out, like. Right, that was like my eighth grade shoes from gym class mixed with a fresh green apple. Wow, that was everything combined. All right, but listen, kudos to you. You did a great job today. I think today we learned that bugs are the future, but the only problem is no one's quite figured out 100% how to make them absolutely palatable. So bugs have some range. Some are really good, some are really out there. And I think the out there ones like this, like these grilled water bugs, it throws people off. Bugs are the future, to the future. Oh, and then we cheers the glass. To the future. Yay! And yeah, there's nothing in your glass. There's really nothing. You've probably heard it before. Bugs are a superfood. It's what our ancestors ate. They're good for us, and so on. Thật ra là cái hàm lượng cái chất béo ở trong con dế này á nó thấp 
rất nhiều so với ức gà thường thường người ta hay nói nó sữa là canxi rất nhiều đúng không yeah. nhưng mà cái này bốn con dế này nó đang bằng một ly sữa canxi 250 trăm oh, năm really? start eating more bugs But in our modern day world, money is what moves mountains. It's not enough to tout the health benefits of bugs. Insects need to be marketed and packaged in a way that's elegant, tasty, and visually appetizing. After all, humans eat first with their eyes. I can't predict the future of bugs, but something tells me it won't look like this. From researching and shooting to editing and mastering, Our 10-person best ever food review show team works hard to roll out the highest quality travel food entertainment twice a week. If you like what we do here, please consider supporting our Patreon. Patreon allows fans of the show to contribute a monthly sum and receive a load of extras like early video releases, private Q&As, and beyond. To learn more about our Patreon, check out the link in the description box down below. And if you can't give or don't even feel like it, that's okay too. <laughs> We're just happy you're here. Boom, another video in the canister. Awkward handshake. <laughs> you did a great job. I thought for sure there was some bug you would not eat, but you followed through and uh, you had a great time, I'm assuming. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you can follow Twin at her Instagram and her handle is right here. Guys, that is it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. A peace. peace. Oh. oh, we forgot the tarantula. We should eat the tarantula.